Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video, you guessed it, we're going to be looking at one of the latest um, coin releases by the Royal Mint. So just before we crack on with um, this video, um, I just want to again apologise that the videos just lately are few and far in between. It's been absolutely hectic in the Coins and More UK household. Obviously, um, I've got the kids at home at the moment and I'm currently unable to work. So, yeah, life has uh, changed quite a bit just recently and it's took quite a lot of getting used to. It's very hectic, so I've not had much time to do much um, at the moment. But, yeah, I will be trying to get the vid videos out um, when I can. But in other, other news, which I'm very excited to um, share with you all, I'm, I'm going to post a picture up right now. There we go. Yeah, we are uh, very excited to announce that we have got baby number four on the way due sometime in September. Um, I'm guessing, you know, this is one of the things that happens um, when you're in lockdown and there's not much else to do. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, baby number four is on the way and we are really excited. I cannot wait. Um, we've got three boys already, so it would be nice for a girl, but if it's a boy, yeah, we're more than happy regardless. So yeah. Baby number four uh, is, is on the way and uh, yeah, I will share some updates with you um, as uh, as things progress. Okay, so this is the coin we're going to be looking at today. Now, it's took about a month or uh, I think a month or five weeks to get here. But there was um, some errors with the information inside this booklet. So uh, yeah, I, I think they suspended um, all deliveries to amend the information that was inside um, I'll show you what it was in a minute but of course we are going to be looking at today the decimal day 50p coin and uh, I, I don't mind how long it took to get this because I do absolutely love this design and uh, you can see there we've got some of the old shillings half pennies and it's just a fantastic coin I do love this design so much and I can't wait to receive uh, the other version of this coin in my um, 2021 annual which I'm still awaiting on I ordered that on release day but it's still not turned up yet but I'm sure it will and it'll be well worth the wait but without further ado let's um, grab this bunk pack open and let's have a look what's inside shall we okay here we go let's have a little look and then we'll go through the Oops. oh god we're off to a good start I can't get this coin open see I do all this so you don't have to at all Okay, let's whack you out and let's, uh, so there we go, another, another shot of the coin. Really nice, I can't stop looking at this. And again, we've got some coin specifications. Quality, brilliant, uncirculated, reverse designer, Dominique Evans. And of course, as always, the reverse designer is Jody Clark on this one. So making change, the anniversary of Decimal Day has been celebrated with a new official United Kingdom coin. A 50p for 50 years. Wow. How cool is that? So let's have a look inside this book. Let's, let's see what else we've got. And of course, um, any time during this video, just pause if you want to have a further read of this, um, of this content. So Decimal Day was a milestone moment in the United Kingdom's coinage story. Changing the nation's currency was an important part of modernising Britain to bring it in line with other nations around the world. It was a huge undertaking for the Royal Mint and remains one of our greatest challenges and successes. There we go, new portrait. Mary Gillick and Arnold Matchin. So a new portrait was issued for decimalisation. Oh, I said it without messing it up. <laughs> and of course, 15th of February 1971 is D-Day for decimal. Also got the old new pence, ten p coin, and then got the shillings up there. That's really nice. Let's have a look what else we've got in here. So time for change. So people were fond of the pre decimal coins, and news of such uh, momentous, momentous change <laughs> naturally caused concern. Decimalisation officially took place in February 1971. But five years of careful preparation took place with the changes to come explained by leaflets, posters 
and television transmissions. So now I've got some, uh, some more shillings. I've got the one shilling, half penny. The one penny, half crown. I do love them coins. And the farthing. They were lovely coins. It was a shame to see some of these designs go. And I've got the new penny, the new pence. Yeah, a lot of these coins had the new pence on. Now we're just used to seeing five pence, ten pence on, on the coins now. And again, we've just got some information about the coins just there. So if you don't want to pause and have a read, please feel free to do so. And of course, we've got some more information about the 50p coin. The 50p with its uh, revolutionary seven-sided design first appeared in 1969 and is now in its 52nd year. Now here we go. Now this is what was wrong in. Um, this is why they had to um, delay a lot of orders because um, a few that were sent out and, and did get received. Um, it said the design for 2020. Now this is where they went wrong. So obviously in this one it's correct 2021, but on this bit there um, it said 2020, and that's why a lot of these packs were either recalled, sent back. Or you had to wait just a bit longer for delivery because they did have to amend this information because obviously they don't want to be sending out um, wrong information with these um, with these 50p coins. At the end of the day, you know they cost ten pound each, and you know you do um, everyone does want a bit of consistency and uh, the correct information. But of course, yeah, the Royal Mint did make a mistake, and uh, the uh, bulk packs before this one said the design for 2020 and not 2021 20, as it should have been. So yeah, what a palaver, Royal Mint, come on. Get your heads on. And then we've just got a bit more information just there. The 50p coin struck to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Decimal Day features a reverse design by Dominique Evans. And again, some more information just there. And some really nice illustrations as well. And a lot of these uh, old pre-decimal coins in all their glory and they were stunners. Some lovely designs. Okay, let's uh, flip this over. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, so oh, zoom. Come on, zoom. Let's get my hand in the way. I should zoom on that. There we go. Okay, the coins um, that would replace the florin and the shilling at decimalisation corresponded exactly to the old coins in this size and rang along, alongside their pre-decimal twins for, for some time. The new coins were designed by Christopher Ironside and were part of uh, a suite of designs produced for Britain's new decimalised coinage. And then we've got a new portrait, I think we've seen this a minute ago. And again, we're just back to the coin specifications. Okay, so let's fold you back up. That's really cool, I do quite like that booklet. It's just a shame we've got some of that information wrong inside and we had to wait so long to get this coin but it's, it's worth it because I do love this design, it really is nice. Now so there we have it for another Bunk Coin review. If you did enjoy this video please leave me a like as always and if you want to leave me a comment in the box below that would be absolutely fantastic. I do love uh, reading all your comments and answering all your questions. Of course if you're not already subscribed to my channel please um, feel free to do so, it really does help me out. And of course, if you don't want to miss videos like this, um, please press that notification bell and you'll always be notified. So that is it for another video. Um, all that's left me to say is thank you so much for watching. Apologies that the videos are few and far in between at the moment, but you know there's some good things coming up soon, I do assure you. And as always, you, you know what I'm going to say now. Um, always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Bye for now.